When watching the motion in the sky, I've always found it best to do it at a speed that makes life on the ground seem like a blur. It's early May on the Great Plains, and Brindley and I are in search of supercell thunderstorms. Our journey begins in southwest Kansas, where conditions are most favorable for their development on this day. Turbulent skies stretch overhead with storms developing in the distance. One cloud fragment seems to realize it's being filmed, holding stationary in front of the camera and twisting like it's dancing before finally fading away. The storm in the distance grows in size, and we decide to move in for a closer look. changing sculpture, but some of the most amazing sights in the sky last for only a fraction of a second. Our Kansas storms are filled with color even as they begin to dwindle. New storms erupt across Oklahoma overnight, however. The lightning is so frequent, the clouds appear to glow. A wall cloud emerges from the haze and rain in central Texas. We struggle to find a view, getting only peaks of the tornado-worn storm through the hills and trees. And for much of the day, the storm chases us. When we finally emerge back into the flatlands, we're greeted by a spectacular supercell. Silky black curtains feed into the storm. The textured updraft base appears as if it's carved from stone. The sight is so mesmerizing that it distracts us from the rapidly approaching, glowing white hail core until it's too late to get out of its path. Finally, a moment to just sit, watch, and listen. The bleeding of animals is a welcome change from the sound of hail pounding metal. The hail core approaches again, but this time we're ready to get out of its way. The storms migrate further and further south with each day. We chase them almost to the Mexican border before the storm system finally runs out of steam. We film a brilliantly blue gust front and witness the first few tendrils kicking up from the ground, the birth of a giant dust storm. The horizon grows dark as it approaches. 
We try to stay ahead of it for as long as we can, but the blowing dust and howling winds eventually surround and swallow us. Emerging from the dust by evening, our storm takes on new and mesmerizing shapes. Smooth tiers of cloud build atop a jagged gust front, while the setting sunlight filters green through the cracks in the updraft and yellow sunbeams underneath. Brindley and I return to Oklahoma to film the widest measured tornado. But this is the day before that ugly event, and on this day, a capping inversion would prove stronger than our storm. It's one of the most beautiful demises of a storm we've seen, and we stay and watch until the last fragment of cloud dissolves from the dying updraft. <laughs> 